Benita, you keep interrupting them. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I, I gotta get this joke off while I can. Like, I'm right? <laughs> I gotta get this joke off. <laughs> I got to. I just gotta do it. Literally during the podcast, uh -huh. like when somebody says something, I'm just like, <laughs> like let them finish. The comments are gonna say I know. interrupting them. Hey, hey, hey y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. Bottoms, Bottoms up, bitch. Woo -woo. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Bottoms Up with your favorite. She's sexy, she's black, she's me. It's Vanita, and today I have the I-T-G-I-R-L. You know she is that girl. Mm, she don't kiss and tell. What? It's Aaliyah Dinalu! <laughs> yes! Bow, 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 bow. Don't stop. Pop that, don't stop. What you talking yeah. with? What? What? Yeah. Hey. Hey. No, I'm so excited to be here, Vanita. Like, this is some real BBL, bad bitch link up shit. Like, yep. I'm really... Period. Like, I'm happy to be here. How you doing? You look sexy as f as usual. Thank you. So do you. Your nails are tea. I just Thank now you. noticed that. That's you know fire. what I'm saying? I, I broke a little bit of, of them off in Jamaica, but, you know, went in wrong. You can't tell, though. Period. Um, mm. I don't like how you overdid me today. Like, you might, because, you know, like, I am the baddest, and <laughs> I don't really like to give bitches their flowers like that, because mm -hmm. I'm the prettiest, I'm the baddest, I'm the sexiest, you know, mm -hmm. all that. But yeah. You did, you did gag me a little but bit today. No shade. Bad bitches love when other bad bitches link up with them. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I feel, I feel like you're the first person that can really like, you know, yeah. be side by side with me. <laughs> I'm going to go back to everyone that you interviewed <laughs> and tell them that shit, bruh. Yeah, as you should, as you should. Do you remember how we met? Um, I styled you. Nope. We met before that. Essence? Before that. First of all, you styled me. Before Essence, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Um, it was a Refinery29 shoot. Which the I what? The Refinery29 oh, shoot. Which I low key forgot about that until I read this card. Because I was like, I thought... <laughs> the oh, first time I met... saw <laughs> forgot about that shit, too. No, but that shit was actually really cute, though. Yeah, that shit was fun. We served. No, that we house... That. No, I wish y'all saw the set. And I wish I did more BTS because the house was actually nice yeah, as Yeah, and, like, the way the, the owner had it, like, decorated was really cool. Yeah, it was fire. I missed that. Yeah, I missed that. That's when we were just, like... Baby! Up, yeah, we up and coming, man. Up and coming. Yeah. And then I have that picture on my Instagram if y'all want to see me and Aaliyah's cover. Or we can just put it inside this episode. Yeah. All right, I, I assume it's going to come, like, right now. Okay, period. Um, So you grew up in Atlanta. Yes. You know I'm scared of Atlanta bitches, right? I'm, Ain't you from Alabama? Yeah, but I'm terrified of girls from Atlanta. Y'all scare me. Why? Um, I just feel like if like I were ever to be in a situation where like I got my hair fucked up or something, I would just oh. get a bitch the money. Like, oh y'all yeah. fight too much. That, but yeah, you're actually <laughs> so you're actually very very right because Atlanta very much gives like. I don't know. I think people from the South are aggressive, mm -hmm. but, like, in a kind way. Yeah. Like, when we talk to people, we be like, oh, girl, shut the fuck up. But, like, we just be kidding. Yeah, like, yeah. But nobody be knowing that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when people from other states come, they be thinking that shit is beef. But it's yeah. like, no. Like, that's just how people talk. But like, imagine imagine a lash tag from Atlanta fuck lashes up. You paying for that. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to pay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to charge that shit to the game. Yeah. Every like, single time. She'll call her auntie, her cousin, and her sister come beat you the fuck up. Oh, yeah. She'll set you up quick. Yeah. And it's nothing. Like, and they'll still be cool the next week. Like, that's just Atlanta. Like, mm -hmm. people fall out and then get back cool with each other. Like, a bitch could be somebody ass yeah. and still be cool with them the next week. Like, that's just... I want to party true. in Atlanta, but also I'm terrified, though. No, 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 no. I feel like because you kind of have, like, a lot of status and clout and shit, you shouldn't party in Atlanta. <laughs> Unless you go to, like, Magic City, like okay. a strip club, like a lure. But Atlanta very much gives, like, you have to fear for your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. It, 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 it does give me that. It yeah, does it does. Like everybody's strapped up. Yeah, it's not. No. You know, but y I love Atlanta bitches though. Y'all are bad. Y'all y'all are pretty. As After you just, <laughs> I mean, I'm scared Wait. of y'all, but I can recognize when a bad bitch is pretty though. Okay, that's true. Yeah, that's southern in general. I feel like yeah. I really like girls from the south. I love girls from the south. Yeah. I love when I meet a girl from the south. I just feel like you know what I'm saying. The west coast and east coast bitches really gonna get southern bitches. Like you know what I'm saying. We get T, each other too, especially um, south. East, like let's talk about Alabama. Let's talk about you know Georgia, saying? Florida. Like we really, we really, shit. we really like that. We really yeah. like that. We get I love, it. I love people from the South. Uh, how have you liked living in New York? I love New, New York. New York is so you. New York is so me. Like I feel like before I even moved there, a lot of people thought I was from there before they met me because mm -hmm. I kind of sound. A little I thought bit you country. were from. I thought you're from New York. Yeah, a lot of people think that I'm from there, but <laughs> it's, you used to film me your old apartment. I I literally thought it looked because, like a New York apartment, bro. bro. Parts of downtown Atlanta <laughs> look like New York. Like, it's literally set up just like that. Mm -hmm. And I used to record outside all the time, so that's why people thought that. But no, I'm not from New York at all. Mm -hmm. But I feel like in my soul, I'm meant to be. Yeah. 
Yeah. In New York. Do you like your place? Did they rob you? Is you is you no. in a rat hole or what? <laughs> no, it's you got rats AC? everywhere. No, you could be in the nicest area of New York. It's still gonna be rats. Yeah. But yeah, you I got, got AC. AC. I got an elevator. Period. I do. I'm not in no walk up. Okay. I'm not. Like it's period. <laughs> but the rats still be around. Okay. But period. not in my crib. Okay. But like you got roaches. Outside. I don't have roaches. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. <laughs> no, so, like, I don't have roaches. I mean, I, I grew up with roaches. There's you did? wrong with that. Yeah. There we is. Had, we had, I mean, obviously, but shit. I feel like, no, in Georgia, though, I feel like the South is just roach central. Yeah, the, the, ro- the ones bro, that I fly. Like, when I went shit. to college and my dorm didn't have roaches, I was like, oh, so like having roaches in your house <laughs> isn't normal. <laughs> Wait, where'd you go to college at? I went to UAB, like University of Alabama at Birmingham. Mm-hmm. But I remember when yeah, and I got my first apartment, that apartment didn't have roaches. And I was like, mm-hmm. so why the f my house? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not normal to have roaches. It's period. Not at all. I'm so I'm glad, glad you made it out. Yeah, I'm glad I made it out the trenches. Cause like it was it was infested, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> period. What is Sierra Leone like? Mm, oh my gosh. I love talking about Sierra Leone. Okay, so Sierra Leone is in West Africa, because I feel like when I be saying that, like the people don't really be knowing where mm-hmm. it's at. But it's so beautiful. It's like you know that's do you know the song Sierra Leone by Frank Ocean? Mm-mm. You don't? No, I'm sorry. Oh my girl. gosh, it's so good. I'm gonna play it for you after this. But it's basically like imagine. Wait, is that where you were when you went on that trip to yes, Africa? Yes, that's okay. where I was. Like imagine like you die, right? Okay, period. And then you know like when you die, and then all the recollections of mm-hmm. your memories come back. It's like. That is the background of all oh the recollections. Like, it's so fucking beautiful. The sunsets are fire. Beaches, fire. Mm-hmm. Mountains, fire. Like, people, nice as mm-hmm. Like, it's really tea. I love <sighs> it. I love that for you. Yeah. Now it's time to hear a word from today's sponsors over at Factor, the most delicious two-minute meals around. And if you haven't learned by now, I can't get enough of them. For all my girlies that are constantly on the go, when you come home, the last thing you want to do after a long day at work is cook and clean up an entire meal. If you're like me, I just want something that tastes yummy but doesn't take me that long to cook and clean up. I've truly found that in Factor. Factor's meals are chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in two minutes. I'm going to repeat that last part again. Ready to eat in two minutes. With Factor, you'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. I'm currently loving their apple cinnamon pancakes and their honey yogurt pancakes for breakfast because sometimes even in the morning, I need something fast and quick and easy before I'm on the move all day. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prep cooking or cleanup needed we've done the math factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious head to factormeals.com slash bottoms up 50 and use code bottoms up 50 to get 50 percent off that's code bottoms up 50 at factormeals.com slash bottoms up 50 to get 50 percent off what do you think is in the water in Atlanta? Because Atlanta has hella rappers, bro. Playboy <laughs> Cardi, Andre 3000, Cali, you, yes. the newest Atlanta rapper. Come on. No, but on some real shit, Atlanta, I feel like the South breeds so much talent. Yep. It's just that we don't really have the same opportunities as people in uh, Los Angeles and New York. So we come up with like unique ways to grab people's attention. Mm-hmm. And that's how we come with so many subgenres, just like um, Cardi mm-hmm. and Cali. Wait, Cali's from Atlanta? Yeah. Hold on, for real? Yeah. I didn't even know that. But yeah, I feel like Atlanta's just, I feel like we start trends, mm-hmm. but they blow up and go to New York yeah. and LA. And Aaliyah, shit. you're so pretty. I'm sorry. I'm Thank just, you. I'm just captivated right now. I really appreciate it. You see your nose pierced. My nose was pierced, mm. but after it got caught on my towel too many times, uh, I was yeah. like, I'm taking this shit out. Like, That's no. real. Yeah. Who's your favorite Atlanta rapper? Oh, my God. Uh, my favorite Atlanta rapper? Like, male or female? Yeah, it could be anybody, babe. It could be multiple. Oh, it could be multiple? Okay. Yeah. I like Andre 3000. Love. That's, like, father. I would say Cardi. Mm-hmm. Cardi's that nigga. Like, I'm obsessed with My him. man loves Cardi. I never listened to Playboy Cardi before. Look at that bitch like a quarterback. Stand in the field. Holding up. Yeah. Bottom, throwing that bitch like a quarterback. What? No, <laughs> he's just so cute and T. Like, I feel like I love people who are weird, mm-hmm. but in a good yeah. way, if that makes sense. Isn't he a Debbie dad? Maybe. Is he is he one that has a baby by Iggy, Iggy Azalea? I don't know. He has a baby by Iggy Azalea? Yeah, he has a baby. Well, I like his music a lot. <laughs> she separates the artist from the music. Exactly. <laughs> and I fuck with Iggy Azalea too, though, yeah. to be honest. So. I'm not going to lie. When, 
I'm so fancy. You already I said, do that, do that, baby, do that, do that. No, I, she I'm not gonna lie, that shit ain't when that came down 2015, nah. it was at every field day. Let's talk about Black Widow though. Yeah, like, she ate the fuck out of that shit. I she love was her. eating. Yeah, she I was. went through. I definitely went through an Iggy, a Iggy phase. Me too. Okay, so now I want to play a quick game. Yes. Uh, I'm going to say a music artist, and you're going to tell me one word <laughs> that comes to mind when you hear them. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Gwen Stefani. Mm, platinum blonde. Mm-hmm. Oh, you said one word? Blonde. Yeah. Uh, also, would you collab with her? Like, you can do, would you collab with her? I too? love Gwen Stefani. I use her makeup brand every single day of my life. She has a makeup brand that's T. Is it inclusive? It's inclusive as fuck. I love Yes. That. And I love her, so definitely. Okay. Tierra Whack? <sighs> Weird, mm. but in a very good way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you collab? Every single day of the week. I love her. Period. Nicki Minaj. Cut. Yeah. Yeah. Or gag. I'll say yeah. gag. She's everything to me though. Like I think she's just mother. Like I feel tonight. like I feel like Nikki's just one of those people that she's Nikki. You're just gonna get her. You know. Yeah. No she's Nikki. Yeah. Uh, Lord. Lord. Oh, icon. Mm. For sure. She was. Bruh. Imagine being mother at 16 years yeah. old. Like she's everything to me. Royals changed my life. Yeah. Selena Gomez. Um, Disney, <laughs> which is the Wembley Place. Maroon Five. Um, childhood. Yeah, for sure. Would you collab? Honestly, yeah. Fuck Mary, kill Adam Levine. Adam Levine. Adam Levine. I wouldn't do any of those. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't kill him either, though. Okay. To be honest. Playboy Cardi. Uh, I love Playboy Cardi. Um, love. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, Nickelback. I don't what the fuck? Exactly. Oh, Nickelback. That's I, like a rock band, right? Is it? I don't know what they are. So yeah. in the background, my white people that work on my show are singing <laughs> Nickelback songs, and it's not ringing a bell to me. Yeah. I'll say rock star. Okay. Rock. I just want to be a rock star. <laughs> Shout out to Cleo. No, um, So, Aaliyah, when did you start making music? I started making music around two years ago, but I started putting out music like seven months ago were you were you nervous were you think did you did you already know that it was gonna be on the hate train when you when you put music out oh of course i knew it was gonna be on the hate train but i also knew that it was gonna blow up just because i have like when i release music like i be having a feeling like i just know this shit's gonna be tea. yeah like, i'm yeah. not gonna lie you be getting hate for the funniest shit i kicked y'all <laughs> not one time Aaliyah got jumped for saying she had a good year <laughs> like they jumped her bad oh because she tweeted and i it kid you not she tweeted I just had a really good year this year. And they're like, what about everybody else has been getting fucked up this year? And they dog power her. Yeah. And then one time you got jumped for wearing boots on the beach. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been so many instances. I remember, la- I feel like last year I was fighting for my yeah, life. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I would log in on Twitter every single day. <laughs> and then I would be in the group chat with my friends like, damn, Aaliyah can't even say she had a, she had a good morning. Oh, my God. Like, it really gets that serious. Like, yeah. I feel like I just never understood it. But then I was just like. I don't know. Does people just want something to talk about? Yeah. Honestly, I've kind of leaned into my villain era. Yeah. I feel like it's you, kind of fab. It, it's kind of fab. And I've realized that the most hated stay the most paid. So come on. That's always how it is. Yeah. And I feel like, especially as dark skinned women, I feel like people give us way less grace than everyone mm. else in the world. Like you could say the most, let's say you're problematic for one second and you yeah. didn't even mean to be. Nobody gives a fuck. They want to yeah. cast you instantly. Yeah. Like they but, like all these yourself. other people literally get so many chances. It's really sad. Yeah. And it's like, that's why, like, I when people hate on me, I take that shit with a grain of salt because the quiet part isn't being said out loud. Mm-hmm. Especially when I was bigger and I was dark. Man, what? Double we, homicide. We know what the real problem here Literally. is. Literally. You guys want to be fake self-righteous on, on your high horse and mm-hmm. pretend that, like, no, 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 we're just holding you accountable. Mm-hmm. Then why are you calling me an ugly, fat, dark-skinned bitch? No, it's really sick and nasty. <laughs> We're going to hell, actually. <laughs> yeah, like. Wait, so how has life, has influencers treated you differently now, you think? Uh, since I've lost weight, or just yeah. in general? Just in general, since, like, oh, you're blown oh, up and everything. Yeah, hell yeah. Because when I first moved to L.A., like, they paid me dust when I would go to events. Really? Like, pay because you could tell, like, when I moved to L.A., mm-hmm. I had, like, a pretty black audience. Because mm-hmm. uh, I was from Alabama, I was from the South, and, yeah. like, all the, like, black people followed me, whatever. Mm-hmm. So then when I moved to L.A., I feel like, especially with the podcast, too, I've been, like, getting, like, mixed demographics so like mm-hmm. when i'm a first move to la like i wouldn't know if people knew me or not so yeah. like a lot of people wouldn't know that i did social media at events especially like non-black people mm-hmm. all the black girls always knew who i was but like white people just didn't know me because yeah. you know like different tls and all this other shit mm-hmm. um and so like they would be really rude and nasty to me and like be like yeah. fucking weird and then they would like eventually see me like a clip of me and see me like on or see my instagram or mm-hmm. get my instagram or whatever be like oh my god 
and that's when they would like start dick riding. But now that I have the podcast, like mm-hmm. everybody treats me like a little bit more respect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When I walk in the room, yeah, tits out, heads up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The queen is in the building, so they yeah. treat me like a person now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, LA's is influ- like influencer culture. But that's so crazy because I feel like you don't make different content than you did when you were first coming up. It's just the people that you interact with are more different demographics. Yeah, now. that that too. Because I literally seen um this like I literally was just talking about this earlier because I seen this video about me because you know bitches just love having think pieces about me mm-hmm. and then people are like Fanita's changed da 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 da. What? Here's my thing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this to rest. When I was fatter and I was a fat funny friend, y'all never gave a. F- what I had to say. Literally. I have always talked the exact same way, but because I was fat, y'all let me have it. Mm-hmm. You know, they let the fat girl say whatever. She's fat, guys. Like, we're not going to say anything. Mm-hmm. You just weren't paying attention to the things that I was saying. Mm-hmm. My personality has not changed an ounce At since all. I've lost weight. At all. You guys just care more now because you deem me more conventionally attractive because I've lost weight because y'all deem people who are on the lighter side prettier, more attractive, mm-hmm. X, Y, and Z because when I was fat and ugly, according to y'all, Y'all didn't give a f- but oh, now wow. that I'm I'm like smaller and a, and a badder bitch and I'm still talking my shit, now y'all got a problem with it and I'm not going to feed in to y'all being fat phobic. That's don't. what the problem is. Don't ever in your f- And life. it's also like, have I changed? My environment has changed. Yes. Have I changed the way that I dress? I do my makeup a little bit better. Obviously, because I have more resources. I live mm-hmm. in a different place. Change is good, but my personality is the same. No, you know real. what I'm saying? Once you start making money, I'm not going to live in the trenches anymore, guys. I'm not going to live with roaches. <laughs> oh, God. Like, and it's like, why is change so demonized? Too? Yes! It's like, I'm not the same bitch I was even last week. Yes. So I feel like we need to stop expecting people to be the same person because I feel like if somebody really supported you, they're going to know that you're a human being and you go through different stuff too and then also it's like i'm not 21 anymore i'm not 22 because i think i started making tiktok content when i was like 21 mm-hmm. like 21 22 y'all i'm 25 now like things change in years literally i'm not gonna be the same girl in my dirty ass apartment in the bonnet in the bed all day you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, i got i got shit to do now no, I'm, I'm sorry responsibility yeah like y'all be pissing me off and like change is good i feel like y'all get so caught up in like don't wanting to like change yourself but change isn't always bad yeah because some of y'all are bad people and need to change your personality yeah. a lot of y'all do need to change <laughs> yeah. let's like, encourage please. change let, let, let's encourage change what were you like in high school though oh my gosh were you popular or no no oh they hated you i was oh down like but then i will say i wouldn't say hated because after like ten, i used to get bullied od like i used to say like up until the day for I what just because how you looked just because of how I looked, how I dressed. Like so you I, always dress like this? This is a Leo core, no. Mm-hmm. But I always dress alternatively. Yeah. So I would just dress like 90s, 80s, but like on some like really campy shit. Like mm-hmm. stuff that people would not understand. But if I were to post that shit online right now, it would go viral. Yeah. You know what I mean? So basically, I would come to school. They would just be getting on me. Da, 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 da. But I feel like once I started, just stop giving a f- Nobody mm-hmm. really cared. And I had, like, two friends. Yeah. I went to school only to show off my outfits. I hated school so much. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I was not an um, extroverted person mm-hmm. ever. See, I, I, was, I was always extroverted. Really? I've always been a talker ever since I was a kid. Like For real? I was always, yeah, I was just getting in trouble. I was a person mm-hmm. in trouble because I talked too much. In class? Yeah. You were a class clown type yeah. guy? Oh, I love that. Because I'm not going to lie. Like, I've always just been a comedian. Like, really? I've always <laughs> just had to get my jokes Wait, off. have you ever done stand-up? Yeah, I have. Actually, I did it in New York one time. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. It was fun. Would you do it again? Uh, Yeah, I would. Mm-hmm. I have to, like, I have to practice more and, like, get my, like, sets down. Mm-hmm. But, like, I've always been the person. I'm just very quick with it. Yeah. So I've always been the person that, like, if I hear something mm-hmm. and I and I can, like, make a joke, I have to say the joke. Yeah. Like, that's why people get mad during my podcast. It's like, Fanita, you keep interrupting them. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I, I got to get this joke off while I can. Like, I'm right. <laughs> I got to get this joke off. <laughs> I got <laughs> I, to. I just got to do it. But, but yeah. I feel that, though. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like right <laughs> it's like itching you like, like oh i gotta like literally it. during the podcast like uh-huh. when somebody says something i'm just like <laughs> let, them, gotta get let them finish the comments are gonna say I you're know. interrupting them again okay. please but i also think i have an undiagnosed undiagnosed case of adhd though really probably 
probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like, like that makes people funnier though. Yeah, I literally okay. I I really feel like I mm. I do have ADHD. Yeah. I can uh, definitely that's why when you said you did stand up it made sense to me because I feel like that's just so you. Like mm-hmm. I can see you doing some shit like that. I want to try it one day. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I mean, you know what the beauty about what we do? We can try anything. Oh god. <laughs> if people want support. It. <laughs> like I'm definitely going to come out with a song eventually. No, you should. You know my man's a music producer. We made one. Really? Actually, I'm going to play it on the podcast. What I've is never it, rap. I've never, yeah, hold on. I'm going to play it for you. This time, talk about one of my favorite brands right now, Skims. Y'all must know about this underwear Skims has because I'm absolutely obsessed at this point. I just can't keep it to myself. It's too good. It's the Fits Everybody collection by Skims, and I feel like it's their best kept secret. The feeling is like no other underwear I've worn before. It's so stretchy and soft. It melts in my body to the point where I fully forget that I'm wearing it. I swear I feel like I'm a last girl with my suit on. Kim's out here making us ladies feel like superheroes. It's not been two months since I've started wearing Skims, and I can't get enough of the Fits Everybody collection. I'm not trying to be extra here, but it has truly changed my life. I dance around my apartment in the triangle bralette onyx and my boy short onyx, and I feel so free and pretty in the comfort of my own home. I would even go as far as to say that the entire Fits Everybody collection makes me feel like a leaf in the wind. It's just that comfy. Even the cheeky brief onyx and the scoop bralette onyx, they all make me feel so comfy and cozy. I'm never using any other brand again. Kim has did her big one with Skims, y'all. And the Fits Everybody collection is available in sizes extra, extra small to 4X. You can shop now at skims.com, plus get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, be sure to let them know I sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select my show in the drop down menu that follows. This is this is this is a never bar y'all. First of all, the song sucks. This is a this is a <laughs> never. Does it actually suck? No. <laughs> it does. It does. This is this is a never before heard Fanita's freestyle unreleased. They were unreleased. This is the first time y'all are hearing this. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know what it is on the track. It's the motherfucking baddest. Period. Yeah. The baddest on the TikTok. The baddest on YouTube. With a hip podcast. I'm only here for the dick. Hey. I love a good nigga. A nigga that a trick. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Wanna hold the blick. First things first, I'm not a rapper. I get in this bitch like a trapper. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm from the suburb. This is not true. I don't really love niggas like that. I, want, I love my life. I don't want to be here. I want to get and leave here. I don't really like this shit. To be clear, I'm not a rapper, I'm a senior. <laughs> hey, but you can't touch this body. It's like a Maserati. Hey! Okay. What? I gotta spit some bars so I can go home. Yeah. You bitches can't be me, you're just a little clone. What? Now, I'm riding the beat. Yeah, then he made me ski. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all over the sheet. Yeah, and then I sucked his meat. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> that shit ain't though. I love songs. Like, I feel like that's why I like Sexy Red so much, but I just love like just super love- explicit yes. shit that's straight to the point. Like, I don't give a about no damn metaphor. Like, tell yeah. me what the I'm talking about. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, but we, we, we made, me and my man's made that like one day late night in the studio because mm-hmm. he wouldn't let me leave unless I made a song. I love that though. Um, but I'm thinking about making like a, just, like, a cute little music video, but you know, it's like, don't take that shit seriously, guys. I mm-hmm. do not rap. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know how many creators do that shit too, though? But yeah, it's just for the fun of it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's mm-hmm. just for the fun of it. That's why I like I love the industry that we're in because we can really just try whatever. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> we don't have like any specific thing that yeah. we do. We just make content. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we can make content literally about anything. Like I could be a fashion designer. Like, Hell yeah. And who's going to stop you? Yeah, we can do anything. Like oh, it's kind of it's kind of sweet. And but no look, shade, though. I feel like that's just everyone in life, too. I think that because we're content creators, we have like the platform to do it but i think that even with people who have regular jobs and all that shit could do the same exact shit yeah. if they wanted to it would just be harder yeah. but like when i was f-ing working at mcdonald's and like all this other shit i feel like it was very much like i wanted to do this shit but i didn't have the platform but i always found a way to like yeah. make it happen because i'm bro i used to be a server bro bro shit was eat bro working in Fucks restaurants is being a server bro, like, like actually that shit is evil i hated it the worst but i remember like I would I would like go to work and then come home put that phone up. Oh my like, god! god. <laughs> but it's like, tired as <laughs> in my uniform. Yeah, like, I still I still got. I remember I used to take off like my Top Golf name tag mm-hmm. before I made it. 
<laughs> same you <laughs> without the name tag. They knew. They knew. Yeah, bro. Well, like with Top Golf. Yeah. Top Golf is it fun there? I always hear about people going. It there. is fun, and the food is mad good. Really? Top Golf food, but I would be in that kitchen every single day, getting my fifty percent off. I heard it's mad um, overpriced though. It is kind of overpriced. Yeah. Cause it, well, it, it depends on how many people you go with. If you go with like a group, you can just split it. Oh. Okay. Cause you have to pay for like the bay, and then you have to pay for like. You pay it by the hour, mm -hmm. so you can get like an hour, an hour and a half. Da, 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 da. But it's like as many people as you want. Mm, it's like the base holds six people, oh, so God. it's like forty five for an hour. But if you split that with six people, that's not bad. You know, it's not bad, and then you can split the food and shit like that. Okay. Okay, so I heard you worked at an aquarium. How was that? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Wait, I was it a Georgia aquarium. Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, I think your aquarium is so nice. Okay, but you just field trips there. Really? Yeah. In Alabama? Yeah. No, because Georgia loved to talk about that damn aquarium. <laughs> the aquarium, Coca-Cola Factory, yeah, MLK. We were talking about that's Factory. all they fucking talk about, bruh. And Six Flags. Wait, wait, what's that hot dog place? That like old school place? Varsity. Varsity. We ate there Girl, after the Georgia. Fuck aquarium. the varsity. <laughs> no shade, but fuck the varsity. Their food is so ass. Yeah. But I they are the first place that integrated in Georgia okay. restaurants. So let me not say too much. But the aquarium. If we're going to talk about a job that's just all around <laughs> up, like, uh, my manager was cool. Like, shout out to, I think his name was Louise. He was cool. But first of all, it smelled like fish every day. Like, yeah. girl, y'all could get some Febreze yeah. in here or something. It was not giving. What did you have to wear? Just like a regular? Yeah, but what I did was I sold pictures at the aquarium. Okay. And it was basically based off of commission. Mm -hmm. But it's so many kids everywhere to scream it. And then people would try to take pictures of the monitor. And they'll look at you like a bitch for telling them not to. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm trying to get paid, too. Like, what in the world? I'm trying to eat. I got a family to No, eat. for real. And I used to have to um take pictures of people, too. And it would be snowing. And they would have us outside. Like, oh. Oh my God, F the aquarium. So how much did you make an hour besides commission? Or you only make was, commission? No, no, no. It was 13 an hour plus commission. So it wasn't Girl, bad. You complaining. I had, when I worked my first job at the goddamn um, <laughs> summer camp, I was getting 718. No, for real. When I was, my first job ever at McDonald's was 725. Yeah, so. bro. The minimum wage in Alabama is still 725. Yeah, it's very much that. It's Georgia wicked. Food. It, it's, it's wicked. It's nasty behavior. I remember when I first got my job, I first, I got a, like a um, like a call center job for like mm -hmm. red, red, what was it? What's that? What's that? What's that fucking uh, the knives? No, not not. I almost got. You a know job. what I'm talking about? I almost got a job with Vector. Vector. <laughs> almost got it. Bro, Vector be scam been scamming since I was like in middle school, bro. Like that shit is not funny. Because I was looking for a job during the summer after like uh freshman year, and like I went to like the whole seminar, and I was like, wait a minute, something about this whole scene, right? Man, well, why are y'all sending me a mail to sign up for this job? Like something is but, not uh, right. It was like um the blood. The blood oh, cross. plasma. Yeah, it was no, it's like Red Cross and Red Cross something. Mm. It's like we had to like call schools and get them to donate or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that was my first job to pay twelve dollars, and I felt Ooh. so rich. Like it was a little desk job. I'm not gonna lie though. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was scamming at that job. How? Because um, so we didn't have to like we didn't have to like clock in. We like mm -hmm. inputted our times, mm -hmm. and you didn't have to like input your times. Like, you can input your times, like, whenever. Mm -hmm. And my boss used to leave work early. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would leave work as soon as my boss left. Bro. <laughs> Wait, I, it was out of place? Yeah, you it was would go place. there? It was, like, it was like a, yeah, it was like a, like a uh, corporate job. Okay. But I, like, work on a computer, make calls. It was mm -hmm. very easy, very chill. Yeah. Uh, but I got bored and I quit. Yeah. But so, basically, whenever she would leave at, like, 1 o'clock, I would leave the same time. Mm -hmm. And then I would put that I left at 5. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, would they not be able to tell by the amount no. of work that was done? No. Oh, so they already got money. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, I mean, I never got caught for it. Honestly, do you. Yeah, period. Scam these fuck, fuck ass guys, you bro. Scam fuck it. everyone. I'm from Atlanta. Like, scam yeah, I'm from the South. I used to I used to steal. Like, yeah. I, 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 I stopped stealing like two years ago, but <laughs> two years ago? God damn, you been out of the South, bitch. <laughs> you just like doing that shit. Because sometimes is it like do I need to pay? I feel like sometimes it's not about the price. It's just about, like, why would I pay this much for Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like it's crazy that we got to pay for fruit that, like, the earth gives it to us for Bruh, free. don't get me started on that shit. Like, like especially with the chickens and the eggs and shit. It's like, bitch, first of all, that chicken, you probably got it from somebody else. Yeah. That shit is not really yours. The eggs is not yours. It's the chicken's eggs. And you gonna charge me for that shit? And now bitch, they $12 a carton? Like, what? Like, let them choose their own prices, mm -hmm. actually. Did you ever steal growing up? Oh, yeah, for sure. I used to steal at, um, where was it? Family Dollar. I remember. I used to steal at the Dollar General. Dollar General boots. Like, I remember I used to put um, Polly Pockets in my shirt. Because <laughs> they were just so tea. I remember they, you could change their outfits. It was just amazing. Bro, you know, you know the first time I stole something? Hmm. 
So like I, you know, saying my stepmom used to start me growing up. Oh and my I remember, god! Yeah, you know, she's going to hell. Yeah, trauma, trauma, trauma. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I was in the Dollar General and I was so hungry, bro. Yeah. And I literally opened up a pack of cookies in the Dollar General and like ate like that's like five. Busting, though. And then I walked out because I expected like the monitor to go out when I like yeah. when I walked out, but it didn't. So then I was like, I was like klepto a, down. I was like klepto. Once I realized like none of this shit had tags, yeah. I would go in like it would be. I I kid you not. It would be the middle of the fucking summer in Alabama. I'm talking about 100 degrees. Mm-hmm. I would wear a jacket into oh the Dollar God. General, a big ass like gray jacket, and just stuff my f- pockets. Do you? And then um, my, when I every time I get in my car, every time I get in my the car, my son might be like, "Why do you have a jacket on?" I'm like, "I'm just cold." Right. <laughs> but my, and I, I remember well. like when I played basketball, I would go. We would walk to the Dollar General before the basketball games. And I would be like, "Hey, hey guys, uh, get get every, get whatever you want. It's on me." And they're like, "Fanita, you don't have any money." <laughs> <laughs> on me, it's crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, shh. I got us. <laughs> right, just let me know. I walk in with my book bag and clean house, uh, guys. But happy on self checkout too, though. Yeah. Self checkout was the best. Bro, it's I, like I stopped stealing self checkout though because one time I got caught bad. Really? Yeah, because I, I tried to steal. Uh, I tried to steal a mirror, bro. <laughs> You dragged it. Like, it. You it was like one of them it. handheld ones. Oh, okay. And I like fake scanned it, and then that shit rewind and played the tape back. No, you know they got cameras at the checkout now. Yeah. Before so, it was like free game because it's like you're actually begging me to steal yeah. because it's like nobody is watching me, and it's like I get to check out myself. Mm-hmm. Like, were you ever finessing during the price match shit with Walmart? Price match. So like Walmart used to do this thing where they would price match, and like so I would like I would like go to Walmart and yeah. be like. Oh, this like twenty four count of d- bounty paper towels are like three dollars at Publix, and they'd be like, mm, "Okay, what?" <laughs> and, so, and so, and they would believe you, like, and, but they, but this like one cashier just like liked me, so she never like asked me for the magazine. But usually you have to have like the paper or like a printout a to magazine? prove, yeah, to prove that it was like, a, shit. yeah, like you'd have to have like the cutout or like be able to like prove it. Mm-hmm. But the, like, the lady would just believe me and be like, "Oh, like these are at like the Dollar General for like a dollar." She'd be like, "All right." Cool. What? I didn't even know they price check. They still do that? No, they don't price check anymore, but they used to. But yeah, mm-hmm. they would price check with like, if you had an item, they would price check it with like another place. Are you like me? Do you like to treat yourself? It's okay, let's be real here. We all do it sometimes. In fact, are you that friend that gets a ton of appetizers even though you know you're also gonna get an entree? Do you buy a ton of drinks out of the club when you know you could have pre-gamed at home? How about those lashes you get touched up every month? Hmm. Well, if you're someone who treats themselves to the top options with everything in life, then why settle when it comes to finding the top doctor for you? We're talking about your health, people. It's time we take it seriously, y'all. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. So don't settle. Go for the best and find the right doctor for you. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them on online. Once you find the doc you want, you can book with them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat basically any condition that you're searching for. Ever since my schedule piled up, I don't have time to wait around aimlessly on the phone, waiting on a receptionist, or the time it takes to drive to my doctor and back. With ZocDoc, I can not only schedule things in advance right from my phone, but now I can also take appointments right from my home. Now I use ZocDoc and so should you. Go to ZocDoc.com bottoms and download the ZocDoc app for free, then find and book the top rated doctor today. That's Z O C D O C dot com slash bottoms. ZocDoc.com slash bottoms. Honestly, I feel like Walmart is a dumbass corporation. Yeah, it is for sure. <laughs> for self checkout and for um and for price checking, because y'all are crazy. It is. But it is like I feel like that's the mother of all grocery stores. Yeah, Cause you could go there and get some shit for cheap that at Target. Yes. Target, first of all, y'all are so wrong for be your prices like why do you be charging people like that target is going to hell the target ceo is not seeing heaven Girl. and also like because you know la don't got a lot of walmarts they don't have yeah. walmarts at all do they, they have they have one they have one that i know of in burbank mm-hmm. and i think that's I've the only walmart that they have here. and then it's like i'm not going to target to get dub lotion that's 15 dollars when walmart got it at two oh and it's like you bitches is rich that's fun and, and then it's like also bitches that don't even live in la y'all are just choosing to go to target also if you grocery shop at target you are that's, a psychopath that's actually some psychopath <laughs> yeah like, like grocery what? shopping at target <laughs> you are a psychopath it just screams like i just have too much money to spend like, <laughs> yes. that just makes no sense to me at all i was working at mcdonald's though was it ass girl fast food is the worst <laughs> like i hate i've been a server too but fast food beats it every single time. Mm-hmm. Like, when I tell you I used to work there, my, you know, like, when you have a manager that's low-key jealous of you and they're yeah. grown as f- 
Like, right, bitch, why is you 30-year-old hating on a 15-year-old? All the old people at the serving jobs is always hating. Because that's Bruh. this is their livelihood. Literally. They ain't got shit else to live for. Oh, God. Like, they take this shit seriously. And they, they be hating. Oh, God. Like, I'm just a young, hot turnt bitch. Like, Literally. why are you mad like, at me? Like, and it's the fact that we work the same hours. So why the fuck is you hating on me? Like, I'm trying to get a bag just like yeah. you. Like, and what's it's like, we mean? make the same thing. Like, what are you? What is there? <laughs> we have the same way. I'm 18 and we make the same check. Like, like why are you being a let's hater? Let's unpack that, actually. So, you said you started making music two years ago. Mm -hmm. How did you figure out the sound for It Girl? Your oh hit, gosh. iconic song. On some real shit, I feel like house music is me. Like, mm -hmm. every single day of the week. House music is very much, like, cunty, walking down the runway vibe. And I found It Girl, um, the beat, on YouTube. Really? Yeah, I did. And I looked up da da da, -da type beat. And I think it was like Azalea Banks type mm -hmm. beat. And I was like, I just need some housey shit. Like, someone please bless me. And it took me mad long to find it. But once I found it, like, I instantly heard the hook when I yeah. fucking tell you. And I wrote that shit on a plane in like two hours or something. And I recorded it like a week or two after. I loved it. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into your blow up on TikTok and the iconic Aaliyah core today, tomorrow, and forever. Period. How do you? How can you tell if somebody is dressed in Aaliyah core? Also, what pisses me off though mm -hmm. is that uh, Aaliyah core. Whether you bitches want to give Aaliyah her goddamn flowers or not, bitch. A lot of you bitches be dressed in Aaliyah core oh, and then God. be mad down when somebody called Aaliyah core. Oh, Why do y'all get so angry when somebody called Aaliyah core? <laughs> Let's talk about it because I would understand if it was like mad different. You yeah. know what I mean? Because there's already alternative girls, but it's like. You doing the same exact, and it be an outfit that I literally already wore. Because I'm not going to lie, like the fishnets, the garters, I personally had never seen it until you started the wearing The garters, it. for sure. Like, you bitches was not wearing garters. Y'all were not wearing moon boots. Like, yeah. come on. Y'all was not wearing moon boots on the beach. Let's be for real. Like, and I just don't like how when somebody, like, calls it a Leocor, the people that, like, the OP that made the video is like, I've been dressing like this is all sport. Like, right. And then they show pictures and it's nothing like what they was wearing. Yeah, like, like you're you just liar. had on a mini skirt and a crop top. Literally, that's not the same thing. And you <laughs> know it, bitch. But I just don't understand, like, why why y'all, like, get y'all pitchforks out when somebody call it that. Oh, God. I really hate it so bad because I, like, when I tell you, I would genuinely understand if you were dressing just like that before. But y'all was not. Like, let's be fucking You're the first person... I've seen dressed like that, at no. least like publicly, like on like a platform or something. Oh like God. I had never seen people dressed like that. I've seen girls dress alternatively, but it wasn't like the loud colors, the mixed and matching fabrics, the mixed and matching all oh that shit, God. the it fucking is... fishnets, the sleeves, the cutout in the gloves, I'm telling you. the different shoes. Like mm -hmm. I was not seeing that. Yeah. And it would be like, okay, you've dressed like this before, but it would just be like a subsect of what I'm wearing. Like when I say a Leocore is like a mix of like Harajuku, alt culture, like Y2K, it's all of it together. Mm -hmm. Like you made a, might've dressed like a rave girl or you might've dressed like a Harajuku girl, but you was not dressed in, in a Leocore. Yeah. Like that's just. And dude. you set a whole trend. Come on. Who's your dream person to put in a Leocore? Um, if I'm being real, I don't know if I want to style anyone. Why because, not? like, I feel like I wanted to style in order to show people that, like, you can, like, look any type of way and it's just, it's any race, any gender could be cute in a Leocore. That's mm -hmm. why I wanted to do it. I didn't want to do it. I have been in a Leocore. Yes. But Period. so many people have been asking me to style them. And I missed on so many people mm -hmm. because um, I just didn't have time. But And I'm in L.A. for a minute. So I might have to bring that shit back, that little series. But mm -hmm. I feel like for me. We got to give me an updated look. I should give you an updated yeah. look. Okay. We were, Period. We're going to play it out. But Sweden I want to part two. I feel like I want to style... I want to style like Tracy Ellis Ross. That'd be fucking crazy. Yeah. Or Lady Gaga. <laughs> I love how random you are. <laughs> I'm for real. She's money to me. Mm -hmm. uh, after you made the song, could you feel that it was going to be a big hit on TikTok? You knew? Oh, yeah. I knew for sure. Just because... It was something that I know I would make a song to, and I knew... Actually, I didn't know if it was going to be big on TikTok, but I just knew it was going to be a really big song. Yeah. But I obviously was going to promote it on TikTok because yeah. that's the music industry right now. But I... Like, as soon as it came out, and I... Especially the first day when I mm -hmm. saw the response, and that wasn't even the the audio that I released on mm -hmm. streaming platforms. It was, like, the slow-down audio. And just, like, the people hating, the people, like... I knew like, that when you dropped it, it, people were immediately hating. I was like, yes. Yeah. She got a hit. I got it. It's <laughs> she another got a hit. one. Hell yeah. I... T-G-I-R-L. You know I am that girl. Shh. 
Bitch, don't kiss and tell. Ain't girl from ATL. And don't be mad at me because I'm cunt, bitch. Don't be mad. But on some real shit, I really thought it was just going to be some shit for the girls and the gays. But a lot of straight people really like the song. And I was like, okay. I love that song. And then you got your, you just dropped your new song. She's a fashion icon. Fashion icon. How was it making that song? And how's the response been? Honestly, the response, this song, I feel like I really, it showed me that I, with It Girl, I really made an audience within music. Yes. Because the people, like, on Spotify, it shows you, like, who's um, streaming your song and from where. And it's, like, all from people's, like, personal library. They're saving mm-hmm. the shit. They're buying the shit. And they're, like, actually streaming it every fucking day. Yeah. And I think that the core is rising mm-hmm. and that's just what it feels like and it just feels so cool like and i seen the fucking northwest make a video to yeah. my song and i was like oh this is so but you know north is always hip she's hip yeah north north knows a superstar when she sees one no she does do that's you think we're gonna see Aaliyah's interlude on a on a on a big stage next year for sure Perhaps. this year this Period. year festivals festival stage down like obviously I gotta release more music because I only got two yeah. songs like come on that's it gonna be three seconds long no for real <laughs> <laughs> two seconds set yeah it's gonna be a two I T G I R L fashion <laughs> icon okay thank you guys bye y'all <laughs> we gotta get an album no for real soon uh, have you ever been on the runway. You've been on the runway, right? Yeah, I've been on the runway for sure. Do you but, still, are you still modeling or are you just doing your you doing your music shit? I model more. I feel like it gives commercial now just because I don't really like modeling that much. And I think I had to do it in order for yeah. me to realize that I don't really like being, I hate to say this, but I don't like being objectified. And I feel like as a model, you don't really have a choice as to what you're going to wear. Mm-hmm. And fashion is like my number one thing in life. So unless they letting me have some sort of creative direction, I don't really like yeah. modeling. I'll model for myself. Mm-hmm. You see my IG pics is yeah. very much giving model. But other than that, unless it's like a brand I really fuck with, mm-hmm. no, no modeling. So what's your future future plans for music? You got mm-hmm. any future collabs coming up? What's tea? Oh my gosh. I have some collabs coming up that like they're gonna if gag? I like if I really said this shit, y'all would gag so bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just laughing thinking about it because the girls are gonna be upset, but they're gonna be happy at the yeah. same time, if y'all know what I mean. But mm-hmm. yeah, and I wanna release the EP this year. I just made a song, um I mean I just wrote a song like two days ago that's cut as Sure, yeah. we'll release it. Well, it's going on YouTube. Maybe not cuss as much. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. But yeah, it's super cute. And yeah, more girly. But like, I'm finna show y'all bars too. Like, this is not just all fun and games. Like, mm-hmm. this shit gets serious too. It's getting serious, it's man. Getting serious. So we, you've said in some interviews that you're in your pop era. Mm-hmm. Can you give us a hint? Any other eras that you have coming? Oh yeah. Um, I would say more crazy era like, like i feel period. like obviously like I'm, your britney like saving your head era or lady gaga yeah, like the very suit? much yes period come on i'm so glad you said meet suit you know when lady gaga um performed at the vmas with the white outfit and it was blood coming out mm-hmm. very much that like although i'm already like crazy with my outfits and shit like to the max when it comes to performances and runways and stuff for sure okay babe what's your dream festival that you want to play at mm. Either Coachella or Glastonbury. Period. Because those are like the two iconic ones that I really love. Um, are you dating? No, I'm not. I really want to though. And I feel like the guys You're sick of dying though. No, but the thing is, I feel like the guys in LA, especially the black guys, I feel like I don't know if they're not attracted to black girls as much. But I don't think so. Yeah, but they're so <laughs> cute. And I really they are hate cute. that. You know I'm dating. So how did this come about? Because I feel like this was mad, like, out of nowhere. It really was out of nowhere. Really? We met on Bumble, mm-hmm. and then it's been it's kind of really history. First, well, I don't know why, for some reason, I thought influencers and, like, um, people who, like, have a lot of followers don't be on dating apps for I mean, some people don't, but I don't think I'm better than everybody mm-hmm. else. <laughs> so, like, because I oh, feel God. like a lot of influencers are just like, I'm too. Wait, do people not, like, um, hit you up on there on some, like, oh, Fanita, like, I'm... I mean, like, it would happen, like, it happened, like, a couple times. But it mm-hmm. actually wasn't often, but also, really? like, I'm straight. So, mm-hmm. like, a lot of guys oh, haven't yeah. seen my content. So, like, a lot of straight men don't be watching mm-hmm. me. Like, some, it would be, like, really, like, like, it would be really rare for somebody to, like, recognize me from TikTok. And mm-hmm. if they did, I would be like, okay, so now we're not talking. Cause you, <laughs> yeah, because you, like, oh, God. It. I feel but, like maybe that's my issue because I'd be into, like, girls. Yeah, you and, like, like girl, You like everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I only like, like, men. So, like, mm-hmm. a lot of boys 
wouldn't know me. I like, never like, thought about that. Because my content is for the girls and the gays. Mm -hmm. And it's like, also you have to think about how big the internet really is. It's not as big as real life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like a lot of people don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, it was never really an issue for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we met on Bumble and then we started talking and mm -hmm. then like, we, you know what I'm saying? We've been locked in ever since. Wait, how long did y'all talk before y'all started dating? We're not dating officially yet. I'm still waiting for him to ask me my girlfriend. But he has Aww. to the end of the month. To <laughs> okay, I hope he's watching this. No, he is. He tunes in. Okay. Um, so, babe, you know. And I'm not fucking around. Yeah, this is your sign. Yeah. Your very last one, too. But, but yeah, next month or next week, it'll be like two months. So Really? It's been cute. That's been so cute, cute. I'm so yeah. happy for you. I yeah. love seeing love. Love is my favorite thing to experience and see. So. And he's so sweet, bro. Really? He's so thoughtful. Like, um, the other day, I was feeling like a little sad. So he cleaned my apartment. He took off my he took out my clothes, put my pajamas on. Oh, my God. Took the socks off his feet and put them on mine. What? You know what I'm saying? Made me a drink. Tucked me in. Gave me a back massage for like 40 minutes. Bitch, I love this for you. I've never yeah. experienced love like this. And he, like, life. one day, we were just hanging out. He kept asking me to, like, feed me. And I was like, why the fuck do you want to feed me so bad? And he was like, I just want to serve you. I, like, I, know that's, I know that's fucking real. Bitch, I know I'm that's gagging. fucking real. I love that for you. Baby, do you give good advice? I do. Now well, it's time. It depends. Okay. For Benita's Fan Fiction. Bow, 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 bow. Hello. Hey, Benita. I just wanted to say love you so much. Love you too. Um, you're great. I love your podcast. And I just have a quick question for you. Hey, Aaliyah. Hey. Um, how do you hit on people and how does it, like, how is it such a second nature to you? Because me, like, when I see somebody who's super, super attractive in person, I feel like my body would invert if I tried to, like, Flirting. you know, tell them yeah. that they're cute and stuff. But to you, it's just, like, a second nature. And I just don't know how to have that level of confidence. I I really, really try. But, like, I feel like when I try, I, 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 that's mm. what it sounds like. And mm. I just really want to know how. It's such a second nature for you, and I would love for you to give us an explanation. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if I stumbled over my words, but you good, baby. Thanks. Bye. Aww. Well, since I was a young duckling, I have always been a flirt. Mm -hmm. Like being a flirt is like it's in me. It's you got Libra your chart? No, I do not. Wait, yeah. actually, I'm a Libra moon. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but I, I just like, I feel like for me. This is a good little social experiment. Mm -hmm. For one, I can talk to anybody. But one thing I used to do in college when I wanted to like become friends with somebody or I wanted to like talk to somebody, people love compliments. People love getting complimented because like a lot of people aren't outspoken enough to compliment people. Mm -hmm. So when they do receive compliments, it makes them like really happy. So I would just find something about them. They're like, oh, I like their shoes. I like their hair. I like their outfit. Mm -hmm. And I would like compliment them on their outfit. And then I would just like continue the conversation from there. Yeah. But I feel like that's an easy way to like open the door to start a conversation with somebody without seeming like super thirsty. So true. Because if you like, you can't just be like, you fine as fuck, like let me fuck mm -hmm. you type shit. No but if you're just like, oh my God, I love your shoes. Where'd you get them? Like da 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 da. I love your outfit. I love your hair. Like mm -hmm. you look so cute. Da 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 da. Like that's more, you know what I'm saying? And that warms them up to like start a conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, but also it's like, who is going to get mad at you for saying that they're, they're hot? Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's like, I look good, it's like, thank you. Thank like, you. like, some bitches be weird about that shit, too. Like, I'll compliment somebody, and I feel like mm, if the energy isn't reciprocated, like, I know, like, it's just like, okay, like, this I don't want to be anywhere. like I don't want to be like one of those people, but I feel like if I, like, gas you up crazy and you don't even be like, oh, girl, you look good, too, like, it's I very don't, don't want to fuck with weird. you. Like, Me neither. Like, cause I, there's been like so many girls that I'll like, oh my god, you look so good. Da -da -da. They're just like, thank you. Mm. See, you I shouldn't. It. I shouldn't. I should never. I should right. never told you. I take shit. back. I take that back. Actually. I take that back. But like, usually, if people are cool, like they're gonna be like, oh, you look good. Like da 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 da. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like you just gotta get comfortable, like talking to people. And sometimes you just gotta like challenge yourself to do social experiments. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I would go to the bar, with my friends, you know, liquid courage, alcohol. I get drunk as. I'd be ready to talk to whoever the f you to. I'd be ready to talk to Barack Obama. I wouldn't mm -hmm. give a damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, anybody. And then, like, you can just... Also, the bar is a good place because you'll probably never see that person again. Unless you live in, like, True. a small town, then you'll po probably see them again. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you live in, like, the city, like, you can kind of just, like, be whoever you want to be. Mm -hmm. Like, you can just put on a persona. I would say method act. I would, like, challenge yourself to, like, go out one day and pretend you're a different person and just flirt with people. Hell yeah. Just... Because, like, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. You know? Period. You can answer the phone. That's another question? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we was answering the same question. But that was a really good response. Oh, what, what would you say? What, what advice would you give? I would say that 
like I'm very much like I give int- extrovert, but I'm not an extrovert. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I remember when I first curves, met you, I was like shocked how shy you were. Yes, I'm very much a shy person. Because everybody asked me, was like, oh my god, I was meeting Aaliyah, and I was like, Aaliyah's really quiet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know about quiet. You, at the photo shoot, like you were just like not as extroverted because I, I thought you were gonna uh-huh. be like super like. Nah, you know crazy? I thought the same thing about you at the photo shoot. Oh really? Right. I was like, um, because I had said hi to you like twice, but you didn't hear me. Yeah. And I was like, damn. I hope. I mean, I'm like, did she fuck with me or not? Like, no, because I, like, I remember oh, uh, somebody was like, I was like, where is Aaliyah at? Mm-hmm. They're like, because I don't think I recognize you because mm-hmm. you're getting your makeup done because mm-hmm. you were just like wearing like just like a regular tracksuit or whatever. Because yeah. I I didn't recognize you, mm-hmm. but I asked one of the girls. I was like, where is Aaliyah? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, she's been in there the whole time getting her makeup done. Mm-hmm. And then I went in there and I was like, oh my god, hey Aaliyah. You're like, girl, I already spoke to you. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I swear to God, I'm not one of them. Oh, <laughs> I, I did not like, hear damn, you. Damn, this girl. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but on some real shit, I feel like very much liquid courage. Get you a shot. And get to work, you know yeah. what I mean? But um I like if somebody doesn't like you, like it's really not that it, fucking like, deep either. It really like, isn't because in life not everybody's gonna like you. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you're gonna get rejected. No for real. And I think that's another thing too, at least for me, is that you have to be comfortable with being rejected. Mm-hmm. You gotta let that shit roll off your back because what might not be somebody else's cup of tea, another another person might want to drink the whole bottle. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not, especially if you look a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. there are gonna be people that, people that don't like you. Like, mm-hmm. you're not gonna be their type. But then, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you will be surprised that some people do really fuck with you. Most definitely. And then also, Having the confidence to approach somebody, that shit is sexy. It is. Like, very much sexy. And I feel like it, you just got to work on your ego. Like, stop mm-hmm. being offended by f***ing everything yeah. in the world. Like, that's yeah. a you problem. Some people won't like you, and that's okay. Right. Not every, I feel and like there's so many likes, people really in the world. Girl either, like, exactly. To be honest. I, I agree. Mm-hmm. If everybody likes you, there's you like, got to... Yeah. It's not giving, like, like very long-lasting either. Like, mm-hmm. that just doesn't make sense ever. But time for my question. These lips are so cunt. Yeah. Need her formula. It is a cunt. Oh, it is? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I would actually believe See, you. See, I've, I've always said it gives, it gives like pussy. It is pussy. Yeah. Slay. Okay. So this is my question, y'all. I'm about to open up the phone. What's up? Hey, Sanita. Hey, Leah. Hey. I just want to say I love you guys. And mm-hmm. I wanted to know your opinion on my boyfriend calling me a dog. We were having an argument. And... Uh, I'm not sure if I should give him a second chance because it was a heat in the moment. Wait, he called um, you a what? Do you guys think he still loves me and I should, like, let it go? He called Anyways, her a dog. thank you. Bye. My name. He called her a dog? Is it, like, dog code for bitch or it's, like, like, he I'm called her? confused. Honestly, let me be real with you. I feel like if y'all, if this is a first-time occurrence, I think if y'all have a conversation about it, really get, like, to the nitty-gritty. And let him know that, like, this is this shit is not something that's ever going to slide again in your fucking life. Like, and if you try that again, you're done for. But if it's, like, not the first time that he's called you out of your name. She I said it was. It was the first time? She said it was. And she said it was, like, in the heat of the moment they were arguing. But then it's, like, I feel like if you say shit in the heat of the moment, you've been thinking that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, you meant that shit. Yeah. But I would say, see if you could talk it out and, like, have a serious conversation about, like, why he thought that was okay. And if it ends up on y'all being together, or if he doesn't understand why you're upset, then maybe y'all aren't meant to be together. Mm-hmm. But if he does, then maybe y'all could work through it. And yeah. See. I feel like him calling y'all your name is crazy as fuck. It is crazy. But I, I agree with Aaliyah, because I feel like some people be so quick to be like, ah, but like sometimes, like, I be saying shit that I don't mean sometimes. Oh my God. And like, even like to my man, like, I be saying, because like sometimes I'm just like off the cuff mm-hmm. and I'll like, like name call him sometimes mm-hmm. but like to me i'm joking but to him like he doesn't like it yeah so it's like he tells me like hey i didn't like that she called me like a shithead or like mm-hmm. a dipshit or whatever because mm-hmm. like i talk to my friends like that he's like i'm not your friend so it's like <laughs> sometimes you just gotta like check that shit at the door mm-hmm. and like let them know like you will not tolerate that mm-hmm. uh because i feel like sometimes like i do the shit sometimes so it's like but i don't mean no harm yeah but yeah make it make set your boundary let him know like if you ever call me this shit again we're done Hell and yeah. if he doesn't abide by that Cut him off. Oh, yeah. And don't go, like, I feel like if you feel some type of way, you need to address it in the moment. Like, mm-hmm. I think that sometimes when you let shit linger, yep. it's like, okay, like, you, or like, if you bring it up, like, when y'all have another argument, it's like, okay, like, you could have been saying yeah. something about it. That's that. why I don't like non-confrontational people. <sighs> I hate non-confrontational people. Because like, I'm very confrontational. Because, like, 
like non-confrontational people just let shit build, 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 build. And it's like you bringing up shit that happened seven months ago and you ain't say shit about it. Man, what? In this very moment too. Like if you were mad about something, you need to say that right then or there. Also, or it doesn't matter. You like, know the type of people I hate? Hmm. I hate the type of people that we're not done. I think we have like a couple more. Okay, okay. But I hate the type of people that like uh as soon as you bring up an issue that you got with them, they gonna start bringing up some shit that, that you did to Man, them. But you, you hell no. This is this is me. You are not use my argument with you to start bringing up some shit that I did, but you didn't speak on it until now. Oh, Cause God. I cause I finally got a problem. I hate people That's like one of my that. My biggest pet peeves ever. I hate that shit. Like if you got a problem with me, say that shit in the moment. Like don't wait for me to bring up something that you did. Mm -hmm. Then we'll actually like when you did this to me that no, it doesn't work like that. Use oh, your God. own time. This is my time. I have the stick. You do not right. do not take away my time. <laughs> not gonna talk. Yeah, use your own time to hash out your differences. I hate people like that. Me too. That's it's one so of my annoying. biggest pet I like you said. I hate non-confrontational people. Yeah, like, that's ugh. have some buck about you. Literally. I'm sorry. Hello. Oh my God. Hi, Vanita. Hey, Hi, babe. Hey. So I just wanted to call in and ask because right now I'm currently watching the newest season of Love Is Blind. Period. I wanted to ask the two of you, what dating show would you both go on, and why? Hope you guys have a fabulous day. Oh, Bye. Love you both. Okay, Love period. Currently, I would not go on any dating shows. I would, okay, let's say you're not in a relationship. Um, like, you know what show I always wanted to go on? Love Island? No. Are You the One? You remember that one on Man TV where they had to like that. match each other? Like, there, it's all random and like there's 10 perfect matches in the house and they have to like what? figure out who the How perfect do you know match your is. perfect match. So basically, let me set the scene. This show, mm -hmm. MTV used to have bangers, bro. Mm -hmm. But basically, it would be 20 people in a house. There's 10 couples. Everybody has a perfect match, but they would have a ceremony. And it's like your job in the house, to like pick people to go on dates with and like mm -hmm. figure out who your perfect match is. So every, every night they would have a ceremony where it'd be the matching ceremony. So you put your hands together, like on this like panel mm -hmm. and then uh, it wouldn't tell you who the matches were, yeah. but there would be like 10 light beams that would go off. So like, let's say one night you got one match, mm -hmm. one light would go off, but you don't know who the fuck that match is. What? And so the object of the game was to get, all ten matches by the end of the season, and then like everybody got like a hundred thousand dollars or whatever. Wait, all oh, they all they all split like a million dollars. Wait, so what do you mean get all ten matches? As in like you match with one person? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let you know if it's a match or not. Yeah, but you won't know if you won't know who your match is. But there was there was a thing. So like every episode, people got to go on dates. Like three couples got to go on dates, and then the house would vote to send one strong couple to, like, the matching booth. Mm -hmm. And, like, that was the only way to know if you were a confirmed match. What? So if you went to the so booth... So it's only one person gets to see a day if they're a match? Yeah. Like, one... Bruh. Yeah, so, like... That shit must have been long as hell. Yeah. Well, it was, like, 10 episodes. Okay. But they would all be, like, on an island, like, in a villa. But, so, like, let's say three couples went on a date, the house would stay back, and they would vote for which couple they thought was the strongest, and then they would send them to the matching ceremony, and then it would say, not a match or a perfect match. And if you weren't... Uh, like if you were like the couple that thought you were the strongest and it said not a match that shit was seeing everybody spiraling because mm. they've been sitting together the whole time and that's been fucking up the lights at the yeah. at the ceremony because then money was on the line too i know that shit was messy it was I, messy as fuck it was so good girl i need to watch it wait wait which, which one would you go on um is it has to be like a dating one yeah she's a dating show the, this sounds so like pretentious, but I feel like there's no one on a dating show that's been on there that I would actually fuck with. Me too. If that makes I sense. I always felt like I was like, I'm just I feel like I'm just too fun for some of the people that's Literally. like in dating shows, and also I'm black, so like I'm gonna Come get on. picked. They last. always be giving the black girls the worst fucking like. Yeah, um, I would get people. I would get like the worst picks. I would get picked last. Nobody would want to fuck with me, and then the person that I would get paired up with would be Horny like as fuck, he would he would loser. feel like he like lost out literally like trying to pity you yeah because that was like i remember that one time this like one girl she was like a like a she was like a plus size like white girl mm -hmm. and she wasn't even like super plus size she was like mid-size but she was on are you the one and like the guy that she was like paired with was her perfect match she really really liked him and he like would act like he like fucking like would want to hang himself that he was like her perfect match and like he, he was like so mean to her and it's like i don't want i don't want that for my life and then y'all see it on love island like Anytime Love Island comes on, they put the black girl with the other black dude, or none of the none of the other guys want to date her. Dude don't even really fuck with her. Yeah, like the black dude likes white girls. He feels like fuck. I got to be with the dark skinned girl. Mm -hmm. Like I would not ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, too hot to handle though. No shade. I would go on too hot to handle. You are too hot to handle. I am. I am. But then you can't do shit no too hot to handle. What's the point? No, you can't do shit. But it's just the the drama of it all. The drama, but also like what's the word? Um, the build up of it yeah. all. Yeah, I feel like it's just so kind. And then Love Island is three months. Like I'm not gonna. Yeah, be I'm not gonna be. Months. I'm not gonna be in a villa for three months, bro. Not doing it. Cause I feel true. like also like 
I have a very like specific energy that I like around me. Mm -hmm. And even when I meet like celebrities or like influencers and stuff like that, it's like, I would not fuck with y'all. Yeah. Like I would like, we would never be friends in real life. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel that way about like a a lot of reality TV stars. Like it's like, I couldn't see myself being cool with any of y'all, especially for three months. And I don't like being in a place where I feel like I got to be fake. Exactly. And I feel like I actually been on a reality TV show before. Really? What? For Barstool Sports. And it was um, in this house and it was called Project Verified. Mm -hmm. And you basically had to compete for I think it was like 20k mm-hmm. and you have to do these challenges and you were with other like influencers or people who wanted to be influencers and I was there for like seven days and I would definitely say it was very much something I would never do again yeah. but it was a cool experience mm-hmm. for sure but yeah too hot to handle for me I would say okay who are we answering hey Benita okay so my question for Aaliyah. Period. Um, I actually used to go to Atlanta, Georgia State, where she's from, <laughs> and I will always be around campus, and I used to think, like, how cool it was, like, she had the most confidence, Aww. and so I guess my question is, is, like, I used to bitch, what gave you the confidence? Like, Aww. what inspired you to literally be like, fuck everybody else, this is what I'm about to put on? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, an amazing that's question. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I would say for sure... Just like I said, like you have to let go of your ego. Like your ego is stopping you from so many things. Like when I tell you people do not actually give a fuck. That's about what I was about to say. People don't care. As much as you think nobody gives a fuck about anyone more than they give a fuck themselves or their mm-hmm. own thoughts and their own perceptions. You're your biggest enemy every single fucking time. And I feel like a lot of times when people see my outfits, although they might like give me like a weird look or gag, like they're going to remember that shit like for Mm -hmm. a a long time, either if it's good or bad, you still made like a lasting impact on somebody's day. And I feel like that's the most like, um, like that fuels me. Like I Mm -hmm. love that shit. You know what I mean? And also just knowing that no matter what you wear, like people are going to fucking perceive you. So just do whatever the fuck you want to do. Cause I feel like a lot of y'all think real life is like glee. Like you're not gonna go outside. And, like you're not gonna go outside and get slushy. Oh God! Like, we're adults. Like, oh God! This is real fucking. Yeah, life. like the like, most somebody would like the most somebody the most an average fucking American would do is like stare, and that's it. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna yap. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna talk to you. They're not gonna say anything to you. Mm-hmm. They might think something in their head, but like also like a lot of people, girl, we got bills to pay. I'm not worried about what. Yeah, got on. what like i'm not gonna be like oh my god i can't i don't give a I hate her outfit yeah oh like, like it does like it gives loser too like it does. if somebody cares that much trust me they have other issues that are way more important than them judging you yeah like, period it's really f-ed up and sad but yeah do you at the end of the day mm. period and that concludes our segment uh, Aaliyah, it's closing time it's closing time. Thank you so much for inviting me here. I really appreciate it. You are beautiful. You're stunning. I'm so I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad and so happy for all your success. Aww, Y'all, make you. sure you stream It Girl and Fashion Icon. Do you have anything upcoming that people can be on the lookout for? And where can they find you? Yes, you can find me on Aaliyah's Interlude. Twitter is Aaliyah Interlude. Mm-hmm. And I have Fashion Icon Remix ready to go. So Period. get ready for that. And a new song coming very, very soon. Period. Period. And you know, guys, it's your girl, Fanita. Uh, I love you. Thank you guys for tuning in for an- to another beautiful episode of Bottoms Up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Pastor Your Bedtime YouTube channel. And I'll see you hoes next Monday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>